What's up, guys? We're taking a look at some more NBA player props today over on Prize Picks. This video applies to sports books and other player prop sites, but I'm taking a look at these props over on Prize Picks. If you are not on Prize Picks, available to people 18 years and older, available in most states. Right now, we have Joe Burrow at half a passing yard. So if you want to sign up, the link is down in my description below. Using code DUMG gets you a 100% deposit match up to $100. Yesterday, we were able to cash out and go 2 0. If you were to play that in a two pick power play, you would have won three times your money. I posted this entry yesterday over in the Patreon, took a $120 W, which was awesome. This was the plays in yesterday's video. So pretty solid W last night over on prize picks. So yeah, link is down in my description for the Patreon and also the prize picks. Also right now is a thank you for getting me to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube for the support that you guys gave me by signing up for the Patreon, for the support that you guys have given me by using my prize picks referral, other player prop site referrals. You guys have just seriously helped me out a ton here. So I'm going to be giving away over on Twitter, $50 to six different people. And this ends tonight, by the way, this ends tonight. Patreon members already know about this giveaway, but go follow me over on Twitter, DOMG props. All you have to really do is like, retweet, and follow me. That's literally it. Uh, the Twitter link is down in my description. And finally, make sure you subscribe. I seriously would appreciate it and have those post notifications on so you do not miss future videos. But we're going to go ahead and dive in. But one final thing, check out the Patreon if you are interested in seeing everything that I am playing tonight. Here's a full breakdown of that Patreon. If you are interested in seeing every single one of my plays, check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. There are three different tiers. There's NFL, NBA, and all sports. With access to the Patreon, you guys get every single play that I play on top of these plays being ranked by confidence level and write-ups to go with every single prop that I post. Once again, the link is down in the description below, so check it out. We have over 500 members right now on the Patreon, so again, thank you for your support over on the Patreon, and just really anyone who watches these videos, you guys have no idea how much every single one of you mean to me, so let's go ahead, though, and dive into this slate here. Here we go. Let's start off here. Let's go with the rebound category first. Let's start off with a favorite here. We're going to go ahead and go with the rebounds here, and I'm going to scroll down not too far, I don't think. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with DeAndre Ayton over 10.5 rebounds. He's been over this in four out of his last five games, averaging 12.2 in his last five. Uh, this kind of bumped up heavily with the Dallas game and kind of bumped down heavily because of the Memphis game right there. So he's really been hit or he's been kind of hit or miss uh, depending on the game. But we're going to dive into this real quick. So this game is at eight o'clock tonight. Make sure you tail turn risk, look at these a little bit more on your own and always, always, always do your own research. But here we go. So the Suns are going to be on the road going to uh, the uh, San Antonio Spurs here. It's a five and a half points spread with a 231 over under. Nothing too crazy right there. Hopefully it should not blow out. Not too worried about blow up potential right there with a 231 over under. Diving in and taking a look at DeAndre Ayton though. Let's take a look at what he's really done this season. So he's actually been over this in six out of his last seven games. So really, really good hit rate in his last seven games right here. And also when he sees his normal 30 plus minutes, you can see how many times he's had those 30 plus minutes. He's actually over this in 14 of his last 17. He's over in 14 of his last 17 games when he has those 30 plus minutes. So he should be looking pretty good in this one. I will say DeAndre Ayton still have like no Devin Booker, uh, no Dre Crowder in this one. None of those guys are going to be back in this one. They just have Torrey Craig, Cameron Johnson, and those guys. Ayton should be grabbing most of the rebounds. I'd be kind of shocked if he was not grabbing a lot of those rebounds. So even against Yakapotl, I do think that uh, Ayton should be able to get the job done here. He did face uh, the Spurs early this season and had only 10 rebounds, but that was also in only 25 minutes. So those was only 25 minutes. Like, he should be seeing pretty much closer to 30 this time around, especially because there shouldn't be like a blowout or anything like that. So he did only have 10 last time, got hooked right there at 10 and a half. But I think he'll, he, if he should have played another five minutes, and if he did, pretty sure he would have gotten at least one more rebound in the mix right there. Let's take a look at the matchup in a second here, but let's take a look at the odds first. So those of you that are like on a sports book, and this can help you out too. If you are on prize picks, taking a look at these odds, seeing what the sports books are actually kind of liking. So he's actually a minus 122 on FanDuel, minus 135 on DK, minus 125 on points bet, and minus 140 on MGM. So he's kind of all over the board between minus 122 and minus 140. So everywhere though is favoring his over. Now let's take a look at the matchup and how many rebounds the Spurs are allowing. So to the center of this season, the Spurs are allowing the 3-6-8th. They're allowing the 8th most rebounds per game uh, this season to the center. So it looks pretty damn good right there. And then the last 7 games, they're allowing the most rebounds per game to the center. They're allowing 19.07 rebounds per game to the center in the last 7 games. This should be a beautiful matchup for Aiden. He should have the minutes to get this one done and he has been on fire lately going over in six of his last seven. Absolutely love this right here, DeAndre Ayton over 
10.5 rebounds. That's gonna be my first play right there and my favorite of the two. Let's dive in now to player prop number two. We're gonna dive into the NBA first half category. This is a big reason on why I love prize picks so much is their NBA first half category. And it's a reason why I recommend at least checking prize picks out. Link is down in my description. But the NBA first half category, there's points, there's PRA, there's fancy score. There's a lot here. And I'm actually gonna take a look at Contavious Caldwell Pope over 4.5 points in the first half. So he's averaging five in his last five games here. He, he's only missed one time in his last five on the hook right there. Kind of relying on him to make a two and also make a three, which I think Caldwell Pope can do. Caldwell Pope, is, he's a good three-point shooter. There's also a chance in this game though that Jamal Murray and Michael Porter are potentially out in this game. There's either one of them, especially if Jamal Murray's out, that would be absolutely beautiful for this prop right here if Jamal Murray ended up not playing against the 76ers here. But it's a three and a half point spread with a 231 over-under, so it's a nice looking over-under with a nice looking spread spread even though it is going to be a first half player prop here it's gonna be on the road going to Philadelphia here and let's take a look at how many points per game the 76ers are allowing to this shooting guard this season they're allowing the sixth most points per game this season to the shooting guard and in the last seven games right here the 76ers they rank ninth they're allowing the ninth most points per game to the shooting guard in the last seven games so it seems to be a pretty good matchup for shooting guards but his hit rate is what looks really really good to me and by the way I do also like him if you are not on prize picks I like his over of 9.5 at like a minus 132 I like his full game points at nine and a half but also he's hit this in 66 percent of games this season 66 percent and when he has 15 plus minutes he's over in 71 percent of games he's also been over this in eight out of his last 10 games and if there's like no jamal murray in this game which would be absolutely huge if we go ahead and type in without jamal murray we can see his game log right uh, real quick with Al Jamal Murray this season. He's been over in all but one. And his one miss was in a tough matchup against Boston where he shot over three. So uh, I really do like the spot right here for uh, Cobo Poe, especially if Jamal Murray's out. That'd be absolutely huge for this. But otherwise, he's in a great spot. Even if Jamal Murray and Michael Porter play, I think he's still in a beautiful, beautiful spot in this game real quick. So... I also, again, like his over of 9.5 full game points, but his first half just has a better hit rate, and it looks pretty good to me, but also, again, I like the full game. All of it looks pretty good to me, but my main play is going to be DeAndre Ayton over nine, uh, over 10 and a half rebounds, and then Caldwell Pope over 4.5 first half points, also liking his full game. Thank you for watching this video. You can subscribe to the Patreon if you aren't interested in seeing everything that I am playing tonight, and if you want to check out prize picks, link is down in my description for that as well. Make sure you subscribe, have the post notifications on so you do not miss more videos from me in the future, but that is pretty much it for this slate. I don't have any like leans or anything I can really give you guys. Uh, I'm interested in like Claxton, but we'll see how uh, Ben Simmons, if, if he's in or out in this game real quick. Uh, it's also at 530 today, but hopefully you guys are watching this a little bit earlier in the day uh, so you can get in on this Denver Philly play if you did want to for uh, Caldwell Pope, which he's probable, by the way. He's not technically ruled in yet, but there's a chance Jokic doesn't play, I guess, too, but that'd be, again, huge for Caldwell Pope, but not really too worried about that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe. Check out the links in the uh, description and get on that giveaway over on Twitter. Ends tonight. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out, boys. If you are interested in seeing every single one of my plays, check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. There are three different tiers. There's NFL, NBA, and all sports. With access to the Patreon, you guys get every single play that I play on top of these plays being ranked by confidence level and write-ups to go with every single prop that I post. Once again, the link is down in the description below, so check it out.